Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jenya. Today I have a wonderful video with a huge kitchen makeover for you. Not only are we going to be painting my kitchen cabinets all over as well as the island, I am also going to be decluttering a huge part of this kitchen today. We have a bunch of stuff that is not even ours, so after decluttering it I'm going to be organizing the rest. And of course how are we going to do anything here without a little bit of cleaning? So organizing, decluttering, cleaning as well as kitchen huge makeover painting painting. All of that is packed in today's video for you. To make sure that you know, I only painted a kitchen once in our old house and what I have learned so far is that there is absolutely nothing difficult about painting kitchen cabinets. There's just one thing. It is insanely time-consuming. I have toddlers and animals to feed on a daily basis, so I do not have the ability to stop using the kitchen for any amount of time, not even a day or two. So today I'd like to show you how I did a complete makeover of this kitchen for a bit over a hundred dollars while still using the kitchen and feeding my family. <laughs> So we're turning this kitchen white as you can see. It's a water-based paint. It's by Valspar. I've used it once before. We have an insane amount of cabinets to paint plus this, whatever it's called, and of course the island. So I'm going to start numbering my cabinets just to make sure that I don't get confused. I'm going to number them kind of like a book from left to right. After I do all of the tops, I'm going to do all of the drawers and then the bottom. Not that it matters which way you do it, it's just this is the way I prefer to do it. After all the cabinets are numbered, I'm going to start taking some off. I'm gonna take a couple off, wash them here, take them downstairs to the basement where I will be painting all of the cabinets. I'm gonna be leaving them there, let them dry and then go back downstairs to the basement sand them and then paint them. Also, I'm trying to keep organized by putting all of the screws and everything that comes off the cabinets into a plastic bag and I'm gonna keep that plastic bag together with any kind of equipment, anything that has to do with this makeover, all in one place. The hardware, the screwdrivers, the drill and bottles, the gloves and TSP, the cleaner, everything that has to do with this makeover I'm going to keep on top of one countertop and even though the kitchen looks messy, especially now that all of the doors are taken off, I am still under control. I kind of know where things are. I gotta tell you one thing though, unloading the dishwasher became a little bit easier even with all of the doors taken off the cabinets. It's still a working kitchen, it just doesn't have the doors, that's all. Now of course if you have babies around, you gotta put all of the sharp objects up on top, but my kitchen is already organized for that. With doors or without doors, nothing dangerous is really down there for the kids to play with. Now this is my TSP cleaner that I'm going to be cleaning the cabinets with. I took about 12 ounces per gallon of water, which according to the measurements on the bottle is about in the middle between basic cleaning and heavy duty cleaning. Although this stuff does not smell like anything, it smells like water pretty much and it doesn't have to be wiped off after cleaning the cabinets. So I am really comfortable using TSP cleaner, even though I am pregnant doing this makeover as you might have noticed. Also, if you are worried about me painting cabinets being pregnant, I have done my research, I have checked with my doctor, I have asked people around, I even got some comments from you, especially people who have worked in painting shops while being pregnant. I choose to believe that it is not going to harm me or my baby Babies and I am going to be okay, especially that I always made sure to have plenty of fresh air coming in while I'm painting. While this kitchen makeover is mostly done by me, of course my husband is going to help me with the hard parts and of course it would have been him who would be painting the kitchen if he wasn't working all the time. I am the one who wants it done most of all and I am the one pretty much available for the project, but any kind of heavy lifting, any kind of sanding up on top, that's all him. While I would use a step stool and a step ladder to climb a little bit, I didn't want to climb very high. Anyways, I'm just going to show you an example of what each door went through in this kitchen step by step without of course showing you how I painted every single door, two coats on one side and three coats on the other. That would be a pretty long video. As I take off doors one by one, I make sure that none of the stickers are lost. I actually had to put some tape on those yellow stickers as well to make sure that they are holding on to my doors. Next time I'll think of something different to number my doors if I ever do a project like that again. Anyways, next I would take off the hardware and put it together with all the other hardware into one plastic bag together with the screws of course and then I would wash the door with TSP cleaner 
all around. I would wear my gloves and just make sure that I would rub the door pretty well and then I wouldn't bother to do anything else with the door. I wouldn't bother to wash it off because you just don't have to. I just make sure that my sticker went back on and then I take the door down to the basement. So I would work with maybe five to six doors at a time and after they're dry I would sand them all, even the little crevices and detailed parts, even though the paint says that they do not require me to sand my doors before painting, I decided to sand them anyways because it's just safer. The paint would stick better to them and also these doors have never had any paint on them as you can see and they were pretty glossy which is not a good thing when you're painting. After we're done with painting this kitchen and get to the island I'll actually show you a new product that I will be using from now on. Instead of sanding there's a liquid sander that people have been using and I decided to finally try it so that way I wouldn't have to sand my cabinets but when we get to that to the island painting I'll talk about it a little bit more. As you can see when I paint I start with the detailed parts first, the hardest parts first with my brush and then with the roller I just finish it up by covering the rest of the door. These are the only painting rollers I would recommend. They sell them at Home Depot, that's where I bought them. I'll leave the link in the description just in case you're interested. But after trying a couple of other rollers, they went straight into the trash. These are the only ones that I will ever paint my kitchen cabinets with. The cabinet above the fridge is never easy to get to so my husband's going to take off those doors as well as the organizers that I've had so far in the kitchen that were DIY but they're not going to go with this kitchen anymore after this makeover so I asked him to take off this shelf and the organizer beneath it. I'm going to be replacing it with some other shelves or an organizer but I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't want anybody to bump into anything that I put into that corner so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments. Since I would work only one to two hours a day on this project, I would have to mix up my TSP, the cleaning solution, all in advance so that I don't have to mix it up every time. And so I mixed it up, I put it into that big gallon bottle and then whenever I needed it, I would just pour as much as I needed into a bowl. Now this project didn't cost me much. I had to buy one gallon of paint, which was enough for the whole kitchen, including the island. And I bought the painting rollers as well as the new hardware I wanted to replace the old one. The hardware came from Amazon, the best deal I have ever seen and I'll leave the link in the description. Now when it comes to the timing, of course I am a busy mom, I have two toddlers and I cannot paint when they're running around all the time or hanging out in the basement while they're running around, so I would only paint during my son's nap. That would be one to two hours a day. Now this project took me about three weeks I want to say considering that I did not paint absolutely every day. This is a huge project, but I found the only way possible for me to get it done is to treat it as a side project because I didn't want to rush myself. I didn't want to stop living. I didn't want to stop spending time with my family on the weekends. I refused to stress out over this project. I decided to relax and just let things go. If it took me a month or a month and a half, I was okay with that because we did not stop living during this project. The only downside really it was all the mess in the kitchen and all the stuff that was put from the drawers onto the countertops. So I would just have to cover up things like spoons and forks with a towel on top of that so that the dust wouldn't get to them. And other than that, life went on as normal. 
I'm just gonna give you a little overlook of the basement, what it's looking like in the middle of me painting. So I have two rooms I'm working in because we have a huge basement now. So all of the cabinets that either need a second coat or need to be painted next, all of them are in this room in order. They all get two coats here and then as we are walking into the bigger room, these are all the cabinets that are done and are drying and I do not need to paint anymore. These are all done with two coats on both sides and are just waiting to be taken upstairs. Some kind of organization is absolutely essential in this process, otherwise the doors would get mixed up and I don't really know what happens then. Maybe it's not the end of the world, but thankfully that did not happen to me yet. Anyways, back upstairs my husband sanded all of the frame for me so that I didn't have to do it painting part I enjoy the sanding part I really cannot stand and so I would put trash bags on the countertops as I would paint above them and now I'm gonna start painting the frame now when it comes to using the painters tape I should have used it right there but it's okay I'll fix that mistake and you will be seeing me using painters tape in places like this when it comes to the wall and the cabinets or like around the microwave but I do not use it excessively nothing wrong with that but I feel comfortable without using it too much and instead I always have a wet rag on me while I paint so that I can fix my mistakes right then and there. I have been more of a cat person for the most of my life and I am still getting used to having a dog in the house. He is now about five to six months old, I think, but I am still getting used to how much hair and how much mess there is from just having a little puppy and just coming from his cage. I think pretty soon we're going to move this cage from this place, but after I moved it to clean under it because I had to paint that area, it was pretty disgusting. I had to not only vacuum, but then mop the floors. And every time I have to move that cage to clean under it or I have to clean the blankets inside of it, I'm just amazed how much hair can come from one little not that hairy of a puppy. <laughs> My cat doesn't really shed that much, at least I really do not notice anything. But this puppy, as cute as he is, he really does keep me on my feet if I want my kitchen clean. Anyways, now as you can see we're starting to put the kitchen back together, that's normally my husband's job. And as I mentioned to you before, I'm going to ask him to take that white structure organizer that I made DIY. Now that I'm doing the makeover, it is the perfect time to rethink my organization in a couple of spots in this kitchen. Obviously, when we moved in less than a year ago, I had to think of some temporary solutions here and there. And now I'm ready to reorganize this kitchen. As this kitchen is coming together, I'm going to start decluttering it a little bit in just a second. Just trust me, if you've never done a project like that, there is always so much mess after your makeover that you don't always see in the videos. I decided to include this part this time where I actually clean up the kitchen after the makeover. It was so much work that I didn't even get to clean up the kitchen all the way, but I did get to decluttering all of that mess on top of the countertops and going through it and reorganizing just that part. And that is what I will be including in this video today. So if you look at these doors, you can probably tell that my husband gets pretty tired in the evening. His job was to put the doors back in, my job was to put the hardware back on. He helps me after work sometimes, I guess it gets really late, I'm in bed already. And even though upside down, he did complete his part of the job. But anyways, as the kitchen is looking more and more put together now, it is time to do some cleaning up and then we still got to paint the island. All of that stuff on the countertops is everything that I keep in the drawers because I had to take them out in order to paint them. I still need to declutter all of that stuff to see what I really need to keep. So the kitchen is not nearly done yet. We still have a little bit of cleaning as well as painting and decluttering to do and then I will have a bunch of before and after shots for you and that is the absolute best part of this whole painting process today.
I'm just trying to see what fits and where and playing around with stuff. I'll probably rearrange it a little bit later again. That's just what happens every time. But anyways, I thought it would be a good time to start painting the island and just get it over with. At this point I'm getting a little bit lazy, I just want to get to the end result. I'm not going to be bothering to take off the baby proof lock because I'm just going to need to put it right back on. I know it's probably not the proper way of doing this, but I just want to get it over with. But this is the stuff that I wanted to show you that I'm going to use, try for the first time, so that I don't have to sand the island. It's actually pretty glossy and this stuff is supposed to not only wash everything but also take the gloss off, so you're supposed to just wash the cabinet or wipe the cabinets really well with that stuff that's called gloss off I guess and then you're supposed to wipe it off with a clean wet cloth so I just completed this part and now I'm going to paint it with the same white paint that I used on my cabinets I was at first going to use a different color on this island I wanted something darker but I was a little bit nervous because we're not sure what color is going to be our backsplash and I didn't want the colors to clash so once we decide on that backsplash color, it's always easy for me to change the color of the island from white to a dark color in case I decide to do so. So since I still had some paint left over from the cabinets, I decided to just use it on the island this time. Instead of going and buying new paint and just hoping that it would look good and then just hoping that it would go well with the backsplash that we have not decided on yet. Now this is another temporary solution where I used to keep my potatoes and onions that I don't think looks pretty good there. So I'm gonna take them off and I'm not gonna be putting them back on. It is time to order that Amazon organizer that I've been wanting to. You will see it pretty soon in this video and that's where I'm going to be storing my potatoes and onions. But with this wall I just wanted to show you briefly what a wall <laughs> looks like when it's not painted, then what the first coat did to this wall and then what it looks like after the second coat. The second coat always makes all of the difference in a painting project and at that point I didn't feel the need for a third coat. This kitchen has so many things that need to be done to it, but the most time-consuming part and the hardest part is now done. I was looking forward to it for such a long time, I could just never bring myself to doing it. Of course, you know, life gets busy, there are always things and this is why this was the only way for me to paint this kitchen is to not rush myself not to have any deadlines not to stress about it just go slow and steady it was a huge thing on my to-do list but i knew that i had to get it over with before i had my babies it was just something that was really important to me personally kitchen is the heart of the home and a lot of us spent probably a good part of our lives in our kitchens i definitely spent the most part of my day in the kitchen and after having more babies I figured I would spend even more time here so to me it was just the main priority at this point to make a room where I spent most of my time look beautiful for myself. As we're letting the island dry it's time to declutter all of this clutter. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. If 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning bone I'm remembering the words you told I decided to just leave a few wires that we actually need in the kitchen and put the rest away and there was a few that I did not know what they were for so I'm gonna put them separately with a question mark for my husband I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone A lot of this stuff in these bins I'm gonna have to go through with my husband. And just like that, it is done. <laughs> To avoid any confusion in the future in regards to what kind of paint and paint color the kitchen is painted with, I'm going to leave that tag of the paint color name on the inside door of the cabinet. It's amazing how much stuff we were keeping here that we didn't even need. Some of that stuff was even left here from the people that lived here before and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. I feel like a lot of times we don't get rid of stuff because we need a second opinion, we need somebody else to confirm that this is okay to throw that away or we need to keep it. At least in my case I feel like I always need to ask my husband about a lot of things and then when he gets home I just never kind of do and so this time I actually Actually came up to him with all of that clutter and asked him about every single little thing and we ended up decluttering most of that so what you saw in those two black bins when they were full and then when they were empty that's because I got rid of most of what was in those bins All of the things on the countertops that have to go back into the drawers, before I put them back into the drawers, I'm going to put them all on the kitchen table, go through all of them, organize them, think of the best way to organize them, and then put them back into the drawers. Let's not forget the bumpers for the kitchen cabinets. I'm just going to do a couple of them on camera and then you get the idea. I did the same thing on each and every cabinet in the kitchen. The doors are not closing properly because pots and pans cabinet is a mess since I took off my organizers off of the doors and this is what this makeover of the kitchen did in my case. It just pushed me to reorganize all of the little things inside of the kitchen, just rethink everything and there is more organization that will be coming up in the next video because I just couldn't fit everything into this video.
I was always afraid to change the blade in this scraper. <laughs> there was really nothing scary about that and I finally figured out how to do it. And by the way, this process of me going through everything on this kitchen table took me, I would say, with all the interruptions throughout, I would say about a couple of hours. Don't you wish things would go just as fast as they do in the videos sometimes? Okay, this is everything by category, all the miscellaneous stuff and small little kitchen items that I need to somehow organize. I don't like spending a lot of money on containers, honestly. I wish I could get some nice looking containers, but so far I came up with a solution for $12 from Amazon, those little dividers. You can break them apart and just customize it the way you like. I'm just gonna do this drawer for today. This is the first time I'm using them and I'm going to have plenty of them left over. So I'm gonna see how I like them. So far I do. And at this point I realized that I was doing it wrong. There were supposed to be little parts that came with the drawer dividers, but I didn't seem to locate mine <laughs> when i find them i'll show you how it's done correctly but right now it's very uneven because i'm doing it wrong but i leave the link in the description for you anyhow i am going to be playing around with those things obviously i'm going to be changing things up a lot but so far i'm just going to stop with this drawer right here for today because this video cannot fit any more organization and decluttering of course i wanted to deep clean the kitchen organize all the rest but there's going to be another video for that so for now i'm just going to show you all of the before and the after pictures of the kitchen as it's looking on that day as much as i wanted to have it sparkling clean with a huge flower bouquet on the table and make all of those magazine pictures it's just not real life not today but as clean as i had it on that day i decided it is time for the after pictures and then we'll continue with the rest of the cleaning on a different day so let me show you all of the after shots of her today i thought you would see the drastic change if i showed you the before and then the after Thank you. 
By the way, that black organizer in the corner is the new one for the potatoes and the onions. I just didn't get a chance to put everything inside yet. We'll do that very soon and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I can't wait to talk to you and I really wish for you to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.